In this video I'm going to explain the Ziegler Nichols methods of tuning a PID controller. This will let you work out what the values of KD, your derivative great gain, KP, your proportional great gain, and KI, which is your integral gain. What values should you make these to have a tuned system? Okay, so let's look at the first method. So for the first method, we're going to consider this following system. KP 1 plus 1 over KI S plus KD S, so that's your proportion, proportional integral and derivative gains. And then we've got a plant here. And then let's put in some feedback going all the way back here. That's minus plus, so negative feedback. Okay, so how do we tune this system? So how do we determine the values we've got here? Well, let's apply a unit step input. And when you do this, you'll get a response that looks, uh, drawing's not very good, but let's give this a go. A response that looks something like this. Very rubbish drawing as usual. And you've got some value k here, so that's when it's leveled off. Um, and you've got some inflection point, oh gosh, where is it? Just say, say it's here. Um, you can determine that quite easily. It's when it changes. Um, so inflection point here. So a very important point for determining these um, values that you need. So draw a tangent to this inflection point, something like this. And this distance in here, from the origin to that um, tangent line, we're going to call this distance L. And then if we come from where this line here, which comes along from this steady state, intersects with the tangent line, drop a vertical line down there. And from this point to this point, we can call this distance T. And uh, we can make up a table from this of what values we should have. So we've got a proportional controller, proportional and integral controller, and then a PID controller. And then you've got values of KP, KI, and KD. Um, so this should be T divided by L. You can determine these. By now you've got enough mathematics to easily determine these. Um, 0 0.9 T over L. 1.2 t over l. This one is infinity, of course. That's zero. This is, of course, zero, because you've got no d here. Um, this should be l over 0 0.3. This should be 2l, and this should be 0 0.5l. So use this table once you've got your t and your l, and you get all of the values that you need. OK, let's move on to the second method. The second method is very, very easy. It's very nice. Basically set up this system, so we've got this block there, KP, then we've got a plant, plant here, and then some feedback just shooting around. Alright, now how do we determine the values that we need for our PID controller? So let's put um, KI and set that to infinity. And let's set KD equal to zero. So that's kind of the system here. If you look at the previous um, system we had, you'd end up with that when you applied this. Okay, so we want to determine this thing that we're going to call K crit or K critical. This is the point at which the system becomes marginally stable. So you get a little bit of oscillation. So you increase in KP to um, God, I can't even spell. K increase KP to K crit, and you'll get a response that looks something like this at K equals K crit. Something like this. It's just started to be unstable, and you get this thing here, P crit, and this is KP equals K crit, this is critical. Okay, 
Very simple, just simulate this system, increasing KP until it becomes marginally stable. So it's just first exhibiting sustained oscillations, something like this. And we have the value K crit, and we have this value P crit, and then we can just get this table P, PI, and then PI, D. So KP is 0 0.5 times K crit. In this case, we've got KD here. Uh, sorry, KI, just the way I've written my table I'm copying from. So infinity, and then zero, of course, no D, zero here, no D. Uh, one over 1.2 P crit. Here you've got 0 0.45 K crit, uh, 0 0.6 P crit, 0 0.5 P crit, and then 0 0.125 P crit. Okay, so that's your two methods, very quick overview, both of them are extremely simple, very convenient to use. Um, it, it has its limitations, it's not a perfect method and can only be used in certain circumstances um, for certain transfer functions. Um, hopefully this is useful to you and you can now do it, it is really simple to do. And thank you very much for watching.